Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today I have a fragrance for you that was released in 2007. It actually won a Fragrance of the Year Award Lux in 2008. It is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Pour All. Here's the bottle. As you can see, the bottle is very similar to the other Dolce Gabbana fragrance. It says Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Pour All on the bottom. It's a frosted bottle. Uh, the sprayer or the cap comes off. Sprayer decent sprayer. Um, other than that, the bottle is the exact same as the Dolce Gabbana Pour Homme bottle, the regular one. It just, it's frosted in a different color scheme. All right, now, again, this fragrance won an award for uh, Fragrance of the Year in 2008. It is available in three primary sizes. It's available in 4.2, which runs for about $73. It's available in 2.5, which runs for about $58 and the 1.3, I believe, which will run you about $45. Now, those are the baseline uh, fragrance, oh, I'm sorry, the baseline cost for the fragrance itself. You can find it discounted at a lot of online sites. I've seen the 4.2 for as low as around $40. So shop around for this, you can purchase it. I'll leave a couple links below, just uh, some places where you can actually buy this fragrance. Now, I do not know who the parfumé of this fragrance is. I was not able to track that information down. Uh, if you know who it is, please feel free, send me a message. Uh, other than that, let's get right on to the actual scent itself. Now, for the top notes of the scent, what you're going to get are Sicilian Mandarin, Frozen Grapefruit Peel, Juniper, and Bergamot. For your mid notes, you're going to get Rosemary, Szechuan Pepper, and Rosewood. And for your base notes, you're going to get Muskwood, Incense, and Oak Moss. Not exactly sure what Muskwood is, uh, especially with... Uh, frozen grapefruit peel as well. I think it's like a marketing thing. But either way, what you're going to get from this fragrance when you immediately smell it is a very light citrusy. Uh, the citrus reminds me of a lot of, it has a lot of grapefruit and lemon in it. You're going to get a light citrus smell that dries down to almost a little musky citrus smell that's along in it. So it's a very, it's a very pleasing fragrance overall. Uh, that most people are going to like when they actually smell it. Most people who have a problem with this fragrance have smelled something that smells almost just like it, they think it's generic, or it just doesn't impress them because it's not really daring at all. Not many people dislike the actual smell itself. So it's a very pleasant smelling scent. It reminds me a lot of Aqua Di Gio and Polo Blue, if you've smelled those two. It's the same type of citrus uh, scent, that you, citrus aquatic scent that you can expect. So, uh, not very original, but it is a very nice smelling uh, scent. The scent also, I think it got number eight or nine on my top 10 of summer of 2011. Next video is actually gonna be my top 10 summer of 2012, but it is a very nice fragrance. Now, uh, the sprays that you can put on this, I usually go about three sprays. I go one to the wrist, one to the wrist, and one to the top of the head usually, and that usually uh, does me well for the whole day. Or you can go one to uh, the chest area. Chest, neck area works just as well. For occasion, this works best for pretty much any occasion that you can actually think of. Casual, a date night fragrance, it works well for, uh, you know, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Sorry, couldn't actually think of it, but work. It works well for pretty much any occasion that you can actually think of. It would double pretty nicely as a signature scent that you can wear pretty much throughout the spring and summer, which alternatively are also the best seasons that you can actually wear this scent. You can get away with this in the fall and the winter a little bit more, but I think it matches kind of the vibe of spring and summer a little bit better than it does fall and winter. Uh, for projection and sillage, projection is a little bit over average. Uh, just teetering over average just a little bit and for sillage it gets good sillage. For longevity expect about on, on my skin I get about six to seven hours. This is one area of contention of the fragrance. Some people say that it doesn't last on them at all. Some people says it lasts uh, a long time like 10 hours 12 hours for them. So you really have to try this one on your skin to see how it interacts with your body chemistry to get a better sense of it. But I get about six to seven hours out of this one. For age group, age group, 
pretty much any age group can wear this one. If you're in high school, if you're in college, if you're well out of anywhere between you know 10 years old and 50 years old. Uh, the only people that I can possibly see might not jiving with this fragrance too well are older gentlemen that are over 50 years old. So uh, just keep that one in mind. Now, as for what other people thought of it, this fragrance got very positive remarks from people all across the board. Here's a quick clip of four people of what they thought of this fragrance. Uh, I like uh, the light blue and it's been one of my favorites for a long time. And I like it uh, for men as well. A plus. Mm, it's not bad. It's pretty. I like it better, a lot better than the <laughs> I like it better than uh, all the rest of them that we, uh, yeah, to go down to you can kind of see why it's the best seller. It's, not really, you know. Oh, kind of light, not too strong, not too light. Yeah, not very offensive like, at all. Fresh, just light, uh, just right, I mean. So I would, I think I'd give this uh, an A, at least an A. Yeah, I'd go with an A as well. This one's nice and light. That's right. It's not That's so right. strong. Could be good for the summer. Not so masculine. I wouldn't recommend a guy to wear it but I'd give it like a B. So as you can see, there are good marks for this fragrance. Their ratings were A, A, uh, A plus, and a B. Oh, the worst rating was a B. The overall sense that I got from people that are, aren't even included in that video uh, was it's a very good fragrance. It's a very light, very pleasing. Uh, people who aren't into cologne were especially in love with this fragrance. So people who did not make cologne or who don't collect cologne or aren't into it just really love this fragrance because they think it's light enough not to be too offending, but at the same time, very pleasing. The comments for this fragrance were pleasant, not strong, light, citrus, aquatic, summer. Uh, but one type of negative uh, connotation that some people might consider negative was it's not a masculine fragrance. Uh, that is a comment that I got a couple times from it. Uh, the middle of the fragrance, I didn't really touch upon in the scent, but kind of has this floral note that kind of comes out and that uh, gives it almost uh, not a masculine scent. At the same time, it's not a feminine scent uh, too much that I would really consider, but either way, just keep in mind that this is one of those uh, knocks for it. So let's get on to the ratings for this. For scent, I'm going to give this one a solid B. The reason I'm giving it a solid B is it is a very pleasant scent for it. Uh, it's not my favorite type of scent, but uh, or at least anymore. It definitely was one of my favorite type of scents before, but uh, now that I smell other aquatics, other citrus, I kind of lean more towards that. But this is a very pleasant scent. Uh, other people definitely love this scent and how it smells because it's not too strong, because it's not too overpowering. Uh, so scent, it gets a B. For projection, I'm going to give this one a C+. It gets a C plus for projection for uh, the simple reason it, it's an average, it's slightly above average in terms of its projection. It's gonna do its job slightly above, but it's not gonna be a projection monster, definitely for it. So for projection, it gets a C plus. For Siage, I'm gonna give this one a B for Siage. Siage, it's better in the Siage category than it is in the projection category. It leaves a nice scent trail around you, especially when it starts to get down to its little uh, dry down stage. It's going to leave a little bit of a musky type of a dry down, which is uh, very pleasant and very nice. So keep a watch out for that. Um, solid, definitely a solid B. For uniqueness, here's where it suffers and it gets a D plus in my eyes. Uniqueness, it, it does have its own little bit of a unique tinge, but at the same time, uh, immediately when I first smelled this, it reminded me of Aqua Di Gio and it reminded me of Polo Blue. Uh, both scents, which I actually like, but it still reminds me of those actual scents that you smell. So it's not breaking any barriers, and the other most common uh, thing that you're going to hear with this fragrance is that it's generic. So keep that in mind when going out for this fragrance. It is a generic fragrance, but uh, doesn't get good marks for uniqueness. D+. Plus. Longevity, B plus, or I'm sorry, B minus. Longevity, again, I get six to seven hours. I think it does perfectly well for it. The reason why I'm kind of keen on the longevity sort of and give it a B minus is the fact that it it loses that citrus tone, I, I'd say about four, five hours into it. It becomes, 
it's still a citrus, but not as powerful, uh, nowhere near as powerful as it was before. And it kind of gains that musky over undertone for it. So longevity, B minus. Versatility. This is where this fragrance shines and it gets an A. Again, it could double as your signature scent if you're looking for a signature scent or a scent that you can wear every day for the spring or summer. It is a very nice uh, in its versatility for that. Wear it for a date, wear it for work, uh, wear it for any scenario like that. Again, the only type of time that I probably don't actually that I don't wear this period is during the winter and during the fall. So I have other fragrances for then and that's pretty much it. Compliments. It gets a B for compliments. The good, good on the compliment factor, I have gotten a couple of compliments with this, but I should mention the reason why I'm giving it a B and not anything else is there are some people who the criticisms were that it's generic and the criticisms were uh, that it's a little bit too feminine for them. Uh, one person that I uh, did have smell my wrist did think that it actually smelled more like a fragrance for a woman. At the same time, no woman actually thought that uh, this was, you know, particularly a man's fragrance. And those that actually did smell the Dolce Gabbana light blue for women uh, thought that uh, the two weren't similar at all. So, and that this one was more suited for a man. So keep that in mind for it. For overall, overall, I'm going to give this scent a B rating. It is a good fragrance. Uh, the reason why it doesn't get top marks is simply because I've smelled so many fragrances that are just like this. Again, uh, Again, those fragrances that I mentioned, Aqua Dijon, Polo Blue, right off the bat, come to mind, and it is a generic type scent, the scent. But at the same time, anyone who doesn't collect fragrances or who is just looking for something uh, to do well in the spring, summer, and doesn't have the, you know, that extensive collection with a lot of fragrances, definitely look in this direction. It is a very pleasant smelling scent. Uh, people who even did not give this good ratings, uh, if you look closely at their reviews, none of them thought that it smelled bad. Uh, they thought that it was just unoriginal, uh, generic, and uh, thought that Dolce Gabbana could have done a better job at uh, coming up with a unique uh, summer men's fragrance. So, very good smelling scent. I would recommend it if you're looking for a fragrance, you know, for the spring or summer or anything along those lines. So, if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below. Send me any messages. I always answer them in a timely manner or as timely as I possibly can. Uh, so this has been Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Ohm. Have, have a great day and take care of yourselves.